I'm Sarah Gore with Open House NYC. We've got an eye on interiors this week with designers and creatives all across the country showing off their latest projects. We're in Brooklyn with this textile entrepreneur for a look at her super chic Williamsburg loft. And in Atlanta, this glam home mixes the muted and the sparkly for a new take on the traditional. Plus, we learn how this in-demand designer styled his own LA home. And we're in Jersey for a tour of this stylish riverfront townhome. But before all of that, we are with this design duo to see how they brought an open downtown feel to this Westchester home. This project was all about blending modern and classic. The family wanted a refined look by night, comfort by day. Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from this fabulous Fifth Avenue apartment in the heart of Manhattan's nomad neighborhood. Check out the 20 foot ceiling heights in this living room, which gives it the feel of a great room in some stately manner. And as you look around, you just can't help but notice the views. I mean, we are on the 50th floor after all. And those views carry you right out into this rare urban loggia. The loggia also happens to connect to the ultra stylish chef's kitchen. There are three bedrooms, including a serene principal bedroom, which is the perfect place to prepare for or wind down from your day. In all, this over 2,300 square foot apartment is an elegant retreat that puts the city at your feet. Let's kick this week's show off in the Westchester town of Rye with the husband and wife team, Everick and Lisa Brown. Check it out. Hi, I'm Everick. Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome. To one of our projects here in Rye, New York. This project was all about blending modern and classic. The family wanted comfort and they wanted to be able to entertain, so they wanted a refined look by night, comfort by day. So follow us and let us show you what we did. Welcome inside. This is one of my favorite entries because it is both modern and minimal. The floor to ceiling windows bring in tons of natural light. And brightness is one of the things we wanted to accentuate throughout the home. Shall we continue? Here in the dining room is where you'll see a mix of modern and classic, which has become our signature look. The star of any dining room is, of course, the table. And we chose this table because it's modern with classic lines. We surrounded the table with chairs that the family already owned, and we updated them with a pleather that's both durable and comfortable. Above the table, we hung this beautiful piece of art. It just so happens to be one of my favorite lighting designers in East Modern. It brings warmth to every dining experience. This room is all about casual elegance. We kept the furniture low profile to accentuate the ceiling height and to not obstruct the views. And we continued the gray theme from the dining room. But without a doubt, the focal point of this room is the stacked stone fireplace. Which we built with the understanding that the TV would be there. So we actually had the TV inset. Which made both the husband and the wife happy. And we rounded this room off with an iconic day bed by Noel. The kitchen is the heart and soul of every home. The architecture of this room with its floor to ceiling glass was created to take full advantage of the views. In fact, my client wanted it to feel like a tree house. So our design choices were inspired by that. Pattern comes to life in the upholstery of the sofa, which we chose to mimic the falling leaves of autumn. You might not know it, but I actually love bright colors but I think they should be used sparingly. So when you do see them, they're just that much more special. And in design, you always want to surprise people with the unexpected. In the principal bedroom, it was all about luxury and comfort because a bedroom is as much about touch as it is about style. To start with, we have this beautiful bed by Linier Rosé. It has really sleek lines and a plush headboard that's accented by this beautiful silk and velvet bedding. We added this yummy deep pile carpet, which feels amazing to step on first thing in the morning. This room gets tons of natural light, so we brought in some beautiful window treatments. 
They block out light while they add a little drama to the room. As nice as this room is inside, one of the best things about it is its easy access to outside. Hey, where you been? The bedroom. Uh-oh. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this tour of one of our favorite projects where we mix modern and classic for a fabulous experience. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Coming up just after the break, we are in Guttenberg, New Jersey for a look at this chic riverfront home with designer Vanessa DeLeon. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back. Now we visit this stylish duplex right across the river in Guttenberg, New Jersey. Designer and open house friend Vanessa DeLeon shows how she brought sophistication and playfulness to her client's home at every turn, including this bedroom addition that will definitely get you into the swing of things. See what I mean? Hi guys, I'm Vanessa and welcome to my client's townhouse in Guttenberg, New Jersey on the beautiful Hudson River. Now, despite it being a townhouse, it's actually not that big. But there was still plenty of opportunity to make a big design impact. And I can't wait to show you what I did. My client is a bachelor and his hobby is DJing. So I wanted to bring that exciting vibe where anything can happen as soon as you step inside. Because its entry is narrow, I installed these modular smoked and copper honeycomb mirrors to add depth. The color is also dramatic, just like my client. For lighting, I use this industrial chic pendant that gives off an amber glow. Shall we continue? As you walk into this bright and airy main space, you'll notice we change up the flooring to this wood plank style porcelain tile. Say that three times fast. Check out this shiplap I installed on top of the fireplace. You usually see this installation in beach houses, but I love it because it's an affordable way to create a statement wall and focal point. To break up the horizontal lines, I installed this butterfly sculpture that I designed. I just love the way the butterflies fly off from the circle right into the Hudson. I painted the walls flanking the shiplap in black. There's a misconception that black makes a room feel claustrophobic, but in a bright room like this, I actually think it expands things. The key word in this living room slash lounge area is comfort. It's a place where my client likes to kick back, unwind, and take in these beautiful river and skyline views. It's also a place where his friends hang out while he DJs on his turntables across the way. But just because it's a hangout area doesn't mean it can't be chic. This original the Gucci coffee table is one of those statement pieces that can make a space and impress your design forward friends. But the views are so much better upstairs. Follow me. As you ascend to the second floor, check out these little metal climbers, inspiring you on your way up. The second floor has a main bedroom and a den, where my client likes to chill at the end of the night. It's a great place to watch the news or a game, or even have a drink from the wet bar. I hung this large mirror against the same shiplap that I used from downstairs. And for a touch of glam, I added this little crystal pendant light. In smaller spaces, you don't want a door swinging into it. That takes up space. Barn doors are a great way to get around that. They visually echo the shiplap, but vertically. And now the bedroom. This bedroom had to be serene, but it also had to be stylish. I wanted the accent wall behind the bed to have architectural detail. So I added these beams to actually frame the bed and the nightstands. I also used the iconic LeClent pendant light. But let's face it, this room is all about the balcony and the views. And to help my client enjoy those views in a new and exciting way, we installed a swing. Now this is fun. I really hope you enjoy taking a look at this modern take on a classic bachelor pad. And learn that even in smaller spaces, you can design big. Bye. Well, you can always count on Vanessa to have some fun with her projects. Coming up after the break, we see how this designer styled his own L.A. home. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back. Now we're in the Mid-City West area of Los Angeles with sought-after designer Jeff Andrews. Jeff is also the author of the new Glamour, Interiors with Star Power, which shows how even the smallest design gesture can completely change the vibe of a space. This is a design philosophy Jeff truly lives by in his own home. See for yourself. Hey, I'm Jeff Andrews, and I'm an interior designer and author here in Los Angeles. And I design homes for a lot of A-list celebrities, but this is the house that I designed for myself, so I want you to come on in and take a look. So the first thing that drew me to this house was this beautiful sunken living room. And in an old Spanish house, like you have to look for architectural details that really like speak to you and make you feel like you can make it your own. And I was so drawn to the vaulted ceiling in here. It makes the room feel so gigantic. What I did was repainted the beams in a darker color and I put a grass cloth in between them because I'm really into texture as far as my design goes. The second thing I did was design my own fireplace out of marble that I wanted to be subtle but also kind of contemporary because I wanted to bring this old 1930s house into today but to do it in my own way. So I went with a monochromatic color palette which I'm always drawn to so I, I pick one color and I kind of expand on that theme. I love it for parties, I love it for every day. It's a formal room without a television and I feel like having a room that just speaks to exactly who you are as a person is really important for how people are living today. This room really drew me to the house. It has this old paneling that I thought was so cool, but it was painted white like 500 times. So I stripped that and turned it into this really cabiny type wintry cozy room with an original fireplace that I left exactly the way it was. I put a TV in here because we have movie nights in here and it's just it's one of those rooms that draws you to it and everybody whenever they come over we always end up in this room. It just feels like home. So my bedroom, dressing room, bathroom was the biggest renovation that I undertook with this house and it took me a couple years to figure out exactly what I wanted. And in the bedroom I went for another monochromatic palette. It had very small closets as a house from the 1930s would, so I busted it all out and turned it into like a gentleman's dressing room with mirrored doors and everything is behind doors so it's, it's extremely neat and tidy. In the bathroom I wanted an all marble bathroom my whole life, which I finally got and I accented it with brass. So the back garden is kind of my oasis and even though it's, it's on the small side, I wanted it to feel a little less like Los Angeles and a little more like Miami. Thank you so much for joining me on this house tour. I hope you like my house as much as I do and I'm working on a new one, so hopefully I'll see you there. Just after the break, we are heading down south to the Atlanta area to see how this designer added flair to the traditional. Welcome back. Now we're in the College Park area of Atlanta with designer Andre Hilton. Andre wanted this place to feel grand and glamorous every step of the way, and he did so by mixing the traditional with the modern, the colorful with the muted, and he accented it all with what else but crystal. Because nothing feels more glamorous than the glint off a crystal chandelier. See for yourself. Hi, my name is Andre Hilton, owner of Jordan Hilton Interiors, and welcome to Atlanta. The idea behind this project was one word, grand. My client wanted everything to start with a black and white base, accent it with gold, bold pops of color, and crystal all throughout. So we decided to paint the exterior brick all white and add a touch of modern edge to the windows by painting them black. Why don't you guys follow me inside so I can show you how I brought the exterior ideas into the interior. We wanted people when they first walked in to say, wow, oh my God, this is amazing. And what better way to add a pop of grandness than to bring in a crystal chandelier?
So right off the entry is the formal living room. We have the base being black and white, and we have that major pop of color with a curved gold channel sofa. So as you walk past the foyer, you enter the great room. Ginormous high ceilings, beautiful architectural windows. Take your attention to the fireplace mantle. This is called the Grandioso, and it definitely lives up to its name. The height, the stone, really, really provides exactly what a room of this size needs. So to add that pop of color again in the space, we added a citron velvet sofa and tall wingback chairs and reupholstered them in a mohair. I wanted to make sure that my client and his guests could feel like they're in an intimate setting and full of luxuriousness because that's what entertaining is all about. Hollywood Regency is the theme of this room. I wrapped the walls in a hand-painted black high-gloss lacquer. And to give my client and his guests the ultimate grand dining experience, I added gold leaf wallpaper to the ceiling. The idea for the seating was a traditional approach. We added six oval back red French chairs, and to balance that, we added two tall traditional Versailles chairs. So I removed the upholstery from the top of the frame, and not only does it remove the echo, but it's also an amazing design touch. I wanna leave you guys with something. Design does not have to be boring. You can bring your own personality to it, adding colors, textures, layers, playing with old and new in order to suit your style. So I gotta go to my next project, but I'll definitely see you guys soon. Stick around, just after the break, we are heading to Brooklyn to take a look at this young entrepreneur's loft. We'll be right back. We are gonna round out this week's show in Williamsburg, Brooklyn with textile designer Ella Hall. Ella didn't let the small scale of her apartment stop her from making a big design statement, turning her space into a comfortable and chic family home that's high on both form and function. See for yourself. Hi, I'm Ella Hall, the founder of Stitch Room. Welcome to my Brooklyn loft. So this is a converted factory building. I'm really looking forward to showing you how I've transformed this rental into the space that my family and I call home. When you walk in through the front door, you walk into the open living room and kitchen area. Immediately, you'll notice the original elements that were maintained from the original structure of the building. Exposed brick, exposed beams. We really wanted to maintain this industrial feel, but also bring in some softer elements. So I am the founder of Stitch Room, which is an online upholstery startup. Everything that you'll see in the apartment, I created myself. For example, the focal point of the living room, which is this banquette built in. Underneath the cushioned area, there's storage all along the base, and it also provides an ample amount of seating for guests. Although we are in this city, I wanted to bring some natural elements, as you can see the plants, but also within the color of the leather for the ottoman. I added extra padding to the ottoman to create a more functional, baby-friendly, yet still stylish piece for the space. Within the space, there was little separation between the living room and the kitchen, so I custom built an island using plywood and a fresh coat of black paint. Because it fits the space so perfectly, it looks like it came with the rental. I purchased inexpensive metal stools. I elevated them with some custom leather cushions. Something I love about the kitchen is that the shelving was actually created using reclaimed wood from the original structure of the building. Again, it's a detail that really makes this space unique. You're probably wondering why I have a disco ball. I brought it with me to every space that I've lived in New York City. It also adds a touch of glam and pizzazz. Open spaces are great, but they come with challenges. You'll notice that there's no actual wall or structure between the living area and the master bedroom. In order to create separation, I installed a curtain track with drapery. Again, this is a multi-purpose room. It's where my husband and I sleep, and eventually our baby. 
I used two different rugs to separate the nursery nook from our space. I further defined our area by creating this awesome headboard. I kept the comforter white to keep it nice and soft, but then added throw pillows to really bring in some flair. So the nursery nook was really fun and exciting to create. Each piece was very thoughtful because I knew that this would be a special place in the house. The rocking chair is another piece that I found. I reupholstered it in a super soft boucle fabric. And then I went with mohair for the footstool. And I found this really cute mini crib to fit in our mini nursery. Thank you so much for visiting me in Williamsburg. I've put so much love and care into each piece that I've designed for my home, and I hope that I've inspired you to do the same within your home. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?